Egypt now and investigators say data from one of the crashed Egypt air black boxes has confirmed smoke and fire on the plane before it went down. The data shows high temperature damage and soot in the front section of the Airbus A320. It confirms earlier information from recordings ahead of the crash. The plane was traveling from Paris to Cairo. All 66 people on board were killed. The second black box is still in France for repairs. Let's bring you more on that story now. I'm joined live from Cairo by CCTV's Adele al Muruki. Adele, smoke and fire confirmed. Where does this bring us now as far as investigations are concerned? And what else have the black boxes revealed? Well, basically, we're talking about 1,200 pieces of information that were um, retrieved um, and should be um, of some sort of importance to the investigators um, that were successfully collected from the flight that are recorded. That's one of the two black boxes that was um, um, picked up and um, successfully repaired. Um, so uh, now what we have confirmed information is that um, the earlier ACARS uh, signals that showed um, smoke detectors giving a signal, now it's confirmed that these are in fact smoke and some part of the plane wreckage that has been collected showed signs of um, heat uh, uh, impact on the body of the plane itself. So it signals um, some sort of a fire, it signals some sort of a smoke, but it still doesn't tell us uh, what exactly started um, that part. But it confirms that the smoke was detected in the lavatory behind the cockpit and beneath the cockpit in the avionics room where the uh, plane uh, main control chamber um, is located. Um, now, what investigators are trying to do now is to um, analyze the rest of the information. So all what we have now are just um, initial um, information that were released from the Egyptian um, authorities. The cockpit voice recorder is also very crucial um, to um, explain exactly if we can um, listen to what the pilot was saying. It might give more indication to what has happened, but uh, investigators are definitely getting close to some answers. And uh, Adele, how have authorities in Egypt responded to this latest information uh, that has emerged with regards to the smoke and fire? And when will, be, will they be releasing more information? As you say, 1,200 pieces of data have been recovered. Yes, basically, um, from um, the Egyptian perspective, they still don't, they still don't want to rush into any um, conclusions yet. Um, but they are trying at the same time to um, keep um, the world informed um, as soon as possible. So um, they are between a struggle of waiting and gathering and, and reaching a definite um, conclusion or analysis and at the same time not keeping um, the public far from these information. So uh, there isn't still any uh, yet more information um, released in that regards. These, we're talking about the official investigation team that has re released the um, information that we're talking about now. So um, they are still going to an analyze further and when they have something more concrete, they will um, announce it as soon as possible. Uh, from the other perspective, um, the search for the wreckage will still continue, hoping to look for some answers and give um, the family members of the crew and people on board some real um, answers to what has prompted the plane into the Mediterranean. Oh, thanks very much, Adele Al-Maruki, live for us there in Cairo as the search for answers continues.